Hi, Sakun. Hi, Putri. Hi, Li Hong. Welcome. Hi, Sibling Craft. Hi, Guna. Oh, hi, hi, Tarvina. Sorry, I always forget. Tarvina, hi. <coughs> hi, Sugar. Let's wait for other people to come. All right, Satish. Okay, I know early in the morning, I'm also feeling very sleepy and... Uh, and and um, I just wish I can sleep too. All right. So we got another one minute. A few things I want to share with all of you. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, morning everyone. Hope you all had a good off day from English yesterday, did whatever work you need to do, okay? So there are a few things I want to uh, get out of my way before I start and then I will repeat what I've said for those who will be coming late. There are now a lot of effort made by the government and especially by the Ministry of Education to help um, Form 3 and Form 5 uh, students or pupils um, with their studies because nobody knows how long we will be uh, on lockdown. So I have shared in the description box um, two um, links to other websites that also have, are having um, online classes using Zoom. And I think KPM is starting from tomorrow um, uh, live online classes um, on YouTube too. I'm, I'm not sure, but they have every, every day they have a different subject. So I've put the link there and they will have uh, officiating, I think, today. So besides coming for my English class, you can please go all to other classes. They have also an English class, I think only once. Uh, but you can go and ask questions about your PT3, whatever you need to know, because um, the teachers there or whoever has been asked to do this, it seems they will be having a live session with all of you, uh, whoever is uh, watching. So I've put there, especially the digital learning uh, website, uh, no, sorry, YouTube channel, please subscribe to it. And then there is a lesson starting from tomorrow. So for those who are interested to study and um, feel bored at home and have the luxury of having internet, please do go and visit and follow the classes. All right. Okay, now I'm looking at the um, chat. All right. Um, all right, good morning, Tanyi. Good morning, Nushin. Okay, let me make my phone silent first. All right. Um, okay, hi, uh, Chuntan, Aiden, Tanyi, Dia. Okay, all right. Um, my usual uh, people who so always come for my classes, thank you so much for coming. All right, let's um, start with the lesson. Let me get my stuff here uh, done. Oops, why is it not? All right, okay. So today's lesson, okay, the objectives would be to um, identify, because we are doing grammar today, language awareness, huh, to identify the relative clauses in the sentences. 
That's what you're going to do. And then you're going to list the relative clauses you have let. Okay, and then you're going to explain the difference between a defining and non-defining relative clause. Sounds so difficult, but it's not that difficult. And then you determine the correct relative pronouns for each of the five types of question. Hi, morning, morning, Gopi. Okay. So how do you know if you're successful based on the objective? You get to choose the correct relative clauses to complete six sentences. Okay. And then you construct eight sentences using the given words with the appropriate relative clause. Right. You're going to construct eight sentences. And then you are going to choose the correct relative clauses to fill in five blanks in a paragraph. Uh, for this success criteria, what's going to happen is I am going to give you... Um, uh, you are looking at me. <laughs> All right. What's going to happen is I'm going to give you a Google link... Um, sorry, Google form link, okay? You go in and you will key in your answer and you will get your answers immediately, whether you're right or wrong. I will also give feedback, especially for the second success criteria where you have to construct eight sentences. After you constructed the eight sentences, you will be given, after each one, you will be given the correct answer. Don't have to worry whether your answer is right or wrong because I will recheck. There are other ways that you can say in the sentence if you use the relative clause correctly. So I will check and give feedback. Um, I'm doing a little bit different of just asking you to write on the um, chat box because I uh, feel that there are pupils who are a little bit shy to write on the uh, chat box and sometimes I, am, I miss some of yours. And it's also uh, evidence that you have done because you can inform your teacher that you have submitted to me. I, I, when I give feedback, you need to have, the thing is you need to have a Gmail. If you don't have a Gmail, you can create a Gmail account, okay? Um, so you create a Gmail account if you don't have, you go to the link, you answer the questions, and then you will get the feedback and I will email back your answers. So that can be proved to your teachers that you have done their work. Um, all right, so that is a little bit different of what I'm doing for this lesson, okay? I hope everything, everyone is fine with that. Uh, I've done it with Form 4, it's quite good. So I'm doing it with um, all of you. Okay, all right, so in your textbook, it's page 47. Hi, uh, ben Benjamin. Right, um, and uh, hi Fazil, hi Fong, okay. Right, so what I want you to do is I want you to answer these questions, okay. Uh, please, please don't give me your, your real neighborhood name. Huh? Just what is the neighborhood where you live called? Any name would be fine. I don't want where you live because I'm worried about your safety. So just give any, any neighborhood that you know of instead of where you live. Uh, if it's in the classroom, it's fine. You're, you're only your teachers and your friends, but not, not on, on, uh, on YouTube. Huh? So what is the neighborhood where you live called? I'm going to call where the neighborhood that I live is called Sunshine Bay. Hi, Norul. Okay, I live at Sunshine Bay. Mine is Sunshine Bay. Okay. Right? Nobody giving any answers? Oh, okay, sugar say bangsa. That is the neighborhood. Right. Mm. Is everyone can hear me? Oh, Chimpaka Park. Okay, all right. That's nice. Chimpaka Park. Mm. Any other names that you can come up with? Kajang. All right. Then I don't give me the real one, dear. I will come and look for you, dear. Okay. Right. Nuru Afrina Lembajaya. Okay. The next one. Do you know any pets? Hamza Aliang. Okay. Elmina. All right. Do you know any pets 
which help their owners. Oh, Aden, Kampung Sungai Raja. That's nice. I wish I was there too. Do you know any pets? Okay, Sugar say dog. Sakun say no. Oh, sorry. Sati say no. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know Zana say dog. Afrina say dog. Okay, all right. Your cats? Your cats don't help you? I thought cats help you too. Right. Cats? No. Okay, Chuntan say no. All right. We don't know. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, how old were you when you met your best friend? Mm. How old were you when you met your best friend? What, what is Palta piece? Huh? What's Plata piece? Fazil, that's something new for me. Fazil, what's Plata piece? Oh, you have one month, Fazil. You met your best friend when you were month, one month old. Four, standard three, 13, 14, eight, seven. Wow. Aiden, when you're 30 months old, 30 years old. Aiden, you're 30 years old. All right. Okay, Ah, five years. Oh, all right, all right, Platypus. Okay, thank you, Fazil. Nine years. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting to know, but Aiden, 30 months or 30 years old? Is there anyone in your family who has traveled to the West? Mm, the wild, wild West. Anyone have traveled to the West? Yes, Tani, you're right. That's the spelling. <laughs> Benjamin, no. Okay. Nushin, say yes. Sugar, no, nope, right. Aiden, no. All right, Li Hong, yes. Okay, no, no. Yeah, with your parents. Yes, that is nice, Zana. Mm. Interesting question, Satish. Is Vietnam West? Nope. Yes, you can go to, yes, right. Benjamin, yes, um, anywhere west. Um, it can be West Malaysia. Mm. Okay, Dia, you say no. Right, Zingyi. Okay, yes. Right. Now, I've asked you these four interesting questions. All right. Uh, Sugar, I'll tell you personally where West is, okay? Personal. Okay, now, the four questions there. Okay. What are the relative clauses that I have used in the questions? Shania, yes, good. I want you to list all that you know of. I don't know what relative clause is. Never mind, Benjamin. It's okay. That's why we are learning. Okay? Two. All right. Sati said two. Nushin said what? Benjamin said no. Benjamin, I have not explained what relative clause is yet. Sati said belong. What is clauses? Hmm, interesting. Question marks? Who, where, what? Chan Chan. Okay, who, where, what? Right. Mm -hmm. What, how, which, who? Right. Darwina. Mm. On. Mm. Okay. Satish, the one that you have been telling me on, you have to, would be, Preposition. What do you, how is, mm, who's whom? Right, interesting. WH question. Mm, so, uh, uh, Gopi. Hmm. All right. Yeah, Chun Tan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you all the answers. Right? The answer is where, which, when, who, these are known as relative clauses. What, it is not usually at the beginning of the sentence, 
it is in the middle of the sentence where you are talking about the noun that, or the subject you're talking about, right? So what is the neighborhood? You're asking about the neighborhood where you live called, right? Do you know any pets which help their owners? So you're asking about the pets. What kind of pets? Pets that help their owners, right? How old were you when you met your best friend? So you, I'm asking about your age, all right? The particular time you met your best friend. And the last one is, you know, you're asking about the subject, your family, anyone in your family who has traveled to the West. So these are known as relative clauses. All right, clear? Yes, they are right. Where, which, when, who. Right, good. Okay, so these are the relative. Oh God, Li Hong, can you hold on or not, Li Hong? There's problem with the Google for activity G question three. Okay, what's the problem, Li Hong? I can correct it in a while. Okay, good. Now let's look at activity A. <laughs> Read the sentences and underline the relative pronouns in each. You already know the relative pronouns are who, whose, which, that, were, and when. Okay? There is no blank space. Okay. All right, I'll check in a while. So what you need to do is my, you need to underline or circle or do something that is the relative pronoun in this sentence. I'm going to let you do the, the, the four and then you write the answer. Okay, the five of it, right. You look at it and let me know while I'll check what Li Hong is saying to me. Okay. Right. Section. Okay. There's no problem with it. Okay. Um, can I see your answers, everybody? Okay, Benjamin, when, where, who, that, who, switch that. All right, Benjamin, Satish, where, number two. Uh, wait, Satish. I want to see. Right. Okay. Oh, everybody gave me an answer. Oh, good, good, good. Excellent. Mm. 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 Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Very good, everyone. Zinyi, Nushin, um, Li Hong. Yes. Um, Kin Lim, right. Chun Tan, Satish, what did you retract your answers? Nushin, again, okay, Sugar, right. Miss Hezi, hi, welcome. Um, <clears throat> okay, it's very easy because you know, uh, we already discussed this just now earlier, so you got the answer. Very good, dear, right. So let's look at the answers. You are right. My grandparents remember the day when they first, no, number one there, they first met. And then that's the shop where my neighborhood works. Oh, sorry, where my neighbor works. And then I think people who and that speak three languages. Uh, I don't know why I, I copied everything coming out one sentence there. 
Uh, is that the man whose dog saved the little girl? And do you like the poster which or that I bought you? So this went where, who, that, whose, which, that would be the relative pronouns. You all must be careful when you see for number three, you can use who and that. Number five, you can use which and that. All right? You must remember for people, we use who and you can use that. But for objects, you can use only which and that. So that can be used for both object and humans. If you want to use WH, you must use who for people and which for um, objects other than humans. Okay, clear? I think that is very clear. Today's subject lesson is very easy actually. Okay, now you need to complete the question below with the words you underline. So you underline this one just now, right? You already underlined or highlighted this. So it's on your chat, you can see. Okay, so now you need to find out which of the words you underlined or you highlighted in A refers to people. I explained already to you just now. So you should get the answer very easily. Which one, okay? Um, refers to people. All right, Li Hong say who? Who else? Anyone else? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, everyone say who? Zin Yi, who? That. Who, 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 that? Benjamin. Okay. Uh, XW, who? Nushin, who? Um, Zin Ying Lim, who? I Aiden, who? Chan Chan, who? Uh, Chun Tan, who? All right. Uh, Li Hong, who or whose? Sugar, who or whose? Mm. If you say refer. Okay, okay. All right. Let's look. Whose son is that? Okay, yeah, Li Hong, I know what you're trying to say. Saada, sa, Saada, sa, Saada, isn't it the name? Who? Right. Okay, who's who that? Hmm, interesting, huh? Okay, so the answer is for here, who and that. All right? Okay, who and that. Uh, Li Hong, your, 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 I didn't say your answer is wrong. Okay, just hold on. Let's continue. What? Which of the words you underline in A refers to two things? Refers to things. Which and that. Okay, Benjamin, which and that. Which that. Right, Satish, Putri, Darwina, SWQ, right, which. Uh, you mean what? That, which, that, which, that, which, Jaman, Zinyi, uh, Li Hong, which, Fazil, which, that. Mm -hmm. Everybody is giving which and that. Right. Yeah, okay, Sada. Which, which, what, that. <laughs> Jacqueline. Satish which, all right, sugar which or that. Let's get the answer. Okay, most of you got it right. Which or that. All right, Li Hong, you already, um, you know, I think a little bit blurry at the moment. Right, Nushin, let's look at the next one. Shows possession. Which of the words you underline in A shows possession? Yes, Benjamin. Right. Li Hong, are you okay, Li Hong? Today is Friday. Okay, Putri, who's? Satish, drums, uh, Li Hong, SWQ, Nushin, Zinyin, Aiden, Tarwin, Benjamin, Jaman, Sugar, Chuntan. Zana, wow, all of you, Dia, Miss Hazy. Okay, right. The answer is who's. 
Now you know why uh, um, Li Hong, I didn't say anything when you say about refer to people about who's it you are not wrong, but it will be better for the answer for C. Okay? Right. Refers to a period of time. If you're talking about time. If you're talking about time, what would you use? When. Benjamin say when. Putri say when. Okay, who else? Who else? Who else? Chan Chan. Jaman. Satish. Jacqueline. Tarvina, Yumeng, Dia, Kinlim, Gopi, I'm sorry, uh, uh, yeah, Gopi, Zinyin, SWQ, Faisal, Fazil, sorry, Chuntan, XW, Zana, Yinglim, Kui Chong, Hazy. Yes, I know Li Hong. I'm checking everybody's one, Saada. Wonderful, Izarol. Ah, Izarol, welcome, Izarol. Okay, when? Let's look at the answer. Right. When? Got it? Last one. Refers to a place. You only have one answer. Oh, Sharinia. Okay, sorry, Sharinia. I cannot remember. Please be like Tarwina when you come in. Just say I'm I'm uh, Sharinia because I cannot remember. Okay, I only remember those who started from the beginning. They first came in like uh, Overkill, Drums for Life. So I know who they are. Sorry, that, that one are my pupils and I forgot their name. Okay, right. Everybody got it. Where? Yes, you are all correct. Fantastic. Okay, you all know that. You all know that. I'm very happy. But my biggest issue with all of you is when it comes to grammar, when it's being um, taught, Isolated, you all do very well. But when you start writing or when it's using, used in context, you can't get the idea accurately. That is something that you need to practice. Okay, Learning grammar in isolation is very easy. Everybody can get it because we are very focused or only are the relative pronouns, fine, or relative clauses, fine. But we... Uh, don't get to see that in a context when we are learning, you know, because communication is just not, okay, now grammar. We don't talk grammar just for grammar, right? Okay, right. A cinema is where we go. Yes, definitely, Li Hong, I know. You know that very well. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Okay. What are we going to do now? Activity C. Okay, so read the sentences below. How is the meaning different? Ah, this is, is something I, I like this. Okay. The ball, which or that is over there, is mine. And the ball, which is over there, is mine. So can you tell me the difference between these two sentences? What is the difference? Is the same. <laughs> Satish says the same. Okay, Satish. <coughs> Any more? Don't know. All right, sugar. It's okay. We can have a personal chit chat about that. Hmm. Yes, Li Hong. What? Hmm, hmm. I want your answer. I love how everyone is thinking. Showing the place of the ball, maybe. Aiden, I like Aiden, your answer, no comma. Yes, you're talking about punctuation. Saada say, I don't know. Nushin gives, you know, um, an answer in a form, form of a question. Showing the place of the ball, maybe. Right. Yeah, Li Hong comma. Yeah, I know one has, uh, one sentence has two commas and the other one don't have. The color of the ball. Uh, okay. The color of the ball. Is that color? A color of your spelling of color? The slash. The slash is to show that the ball which is over there is mine, or you can say the ball that is over there is mine. 
Okay, color. Is there a color? Same one that which? Okay. Okay. Don't know. Uh, I love that you don't know. Hmm. Then, then only I have a job. If not, I'm very worried. If you know everything, then I don't have a job anymore as a teacher. <laughs> okay. Fazil, no. It's the same. Hell, I'm going insane. <laughs> okay. Alright. I love when Lee Hong goes insane because Lee Hong sends, uh, sends, uh, but seems to have all the answers. Okay. Right. Okay. This is the answer. Then you know. Okay. Then you know. Right. Uh, defining. This is when you learn the difference between a defining relative clause and a non-defining relative clause. Okay. Um, let me get something clear first because I feel you are confused a little bit. Okay. Let me uh, explain. Now, a relative clause, meaning you have a relative pronoun and then you have the phrase. Okay. Um, the neighborhood where I live. Where is a relative pronoun? I live is a phrase. When you put a where I live, it becomes a clause. Okay. Got it? Okay. Clear? Right. The room that I am sleeping in is uh, cluttered. So the room that I am, that the word that is a relative pronoun, I am, sorry, the room which I am living, so which or that I'm using is a relative pronoun. The one that comes after that, it can be a phrase or a, a, a few uh, few words there. It's a phrase that joins with the relative pronouns, it becomes a clause. Clear? Okay, good, if it's clear. Now we can go back to this one here. Okay, so a defining relative clause, okay, give essential information about who, who or what we are talking about. Right, so now you need to decide which one of these two give essential information about who or what we are talking about? Number one or number two? <laughs> Li Hong, you're insane and, in, and you're confused and it doesn't matter. Okay. Don't worry, I'll explain. Okay. Uh, Li Hong say number one. Nushin, okay, from here I will explain to you from this sentence. Okay, it's the same. No. Okay. Right, number one. Hmm. Anybody? I will I will explain again because some of you don't get it. I'll explain again by using this example. Number one, number one. All right. Mm -hmm. Number one. Okay. All right. The answer is number one. You are right. Okay. Let it. Let me make it clear for those who are lost, like Li Hong and Nushin, and whoever is lost. This one, the ball, which is over there, is mine. Listen, Nushin. Okay, I said, Benjamin, that relative clauses is easy. The ball, which is over there, is mine. Now, which or that is known, the word by itself is known as a relative pronoun. Okay, by itself. When you talk about a clause, it must have a phrase with it. So, is over there is mine is a phrase that is joined with the relative pronoun which and that. So, which or that is over there. This one is over there. This is a relative clause. Clear? I'm going to repeat. Which and that is a relative pronoun. And then when you join with the phrase is over there. It becomes a relative clause. Got it?
what phrase and relative clause not together? When you join, when you join a relative pronoun with the phrase, it becomes a relative clause. Okay, Chan Chan, I'm happy that you get it clear. I'm worried about Li Hong and Nushin. Nushin, is it clear? Ah, okay, good. Wonderful. That's more important I, to get that few of you to get it. Right. Let, let, let. All right. Okay. That is why you need to know the relative pronoun first before you can understand relative clauses. Okay. Now we continue with the second one since you already know. Non-defining relative clauses give extra information about who or what we are talking about. Now, this information isn't necessary for the sentence to make sense. It is separated from the rest of the sentence by commas. So, okay, so the ball, okay, it is not B because the relative pronouns and the phrase are not to make a clause. All right. So now for B, which one of this sentence is a non-defining relative clause? I think you know the answer because just now you chose number. Mm -hmm. Now the only, yes, Zin Yin, yeah, exactly. All right, wonderful. Excellent. Yes, Li Hong, I can see your answer. You don't have to repeat 10 times. Yes, Nushin, the comma changes whether the sentence is defining or non-defining. Right, exactly. Good. What I want you to understand is this. Okay? You need to understand this. This first sentence let you know that the where the ball is, okay, is a very important information. Okay, the ball that is over there, you, are, you want the person to know that ball over there is yours. So it's an important information to know that particular ball. But what happens in number two is, where the ball is doesn't matter. It's an extra information. The ball is mine. That's the main sentence. The ball is mine. But you are adding on which is over there to tell people that ball over there is yours, but without that extra information, it's also fine. So you need to decide whether that extra information you want to give, okay, all right, whether the information you want to give is an essential information or an extra information. If it's a very important information, don't use comma. If it's an extra information, doesn't matter, whether people know the extra information or not, use a comma. Yes, a comma, Nushin, you are very correct. A comma changes the meaning. So when you're writing your essay, when you have commas here and there, it changes the meaning of how you are writing. Okay, got it, everyone clear? So the first sentence, it is essential to know which exactly which ball. Second information, it is not important which ball. Okay, not, not which ball, where the ball is. It doesn't matter. Right, clear? All right, good, Nushin. I love to hear that it's clear for you. Okay, right. <coughs> what about the rest? <coughs> Fine? Okay, good. Now, you have to be careful. I want you to look at this sentence here. Okay? You see, the, you say the meaning is the same, but look at the first one. The first one, you can use which and that, but the second one, you can only use which, correct? So, you have to be careful that in a defining relative clause, the word that can be used instead of who or which, okay? The boy who, okay? The boy who is standing over there is my brother. Without comma, the boy who is standing over there is my brother. I can also say the boy that is standing over there is my brother. Okay? 
But if I want to use a non-defining clause, okay, the boy, comma, who is standing there, comma, is my brother. So the boy is my brother, right? Comma there to give extra information. I cannot use the boy, comma, that is standing there, cannot. You cannot put that when you have a comma. The boy, comma, who? You cannot have that, right? Oops. What's going on here? <coughs> what is what is that? Oh, buffering. Okay. Ah, so you all clear? Okay, right. So here you can use if it's essential, use which and that. If it's an extra information, you can only use which for an object and who for a, a human subject. Okay? Right. Good. Wonderful. Because we have come to the end of our lesson. So tell me three things. Okay, good, Li Hong. Tell me three things you have learned today. Hmm, three things that you have learned today. I learned something new. The buffering thing that Fazil did. I don't know what that is, but interesting. Makes me want to try. Where's the buffering thing? See, teachers also, teachers also want to learn. Buffering. Oh, I found it. I'm so excited that I found it. Ah, yes, I found it. Ah, right. Not that fast, um, Benjamin. Hold on. Okay, because you came in late, Benjamin. B. B. <laughs> How to spell platypus? Right, Fazil, you learned that from your, your from your friend. Good. Okay. Learn to identify the difference between defining yes, okay, in Lim. Right, Sri Darshini. Okay, German say relative clause defining not. Okay, Chuntan, yes, good. About relative, okay. How to write a sentence with extra information, okay. Right. Uh, Sharinya, mm, Nushin, how comma changes, okay. Relative clause and relative pronouns, yes. The difference between relative pronouns, relative clause, okay. Overkill also learn how to do the buffering um, emoji. It's not emoji, a symbol, whatever it's called. We have, all right. Okay, process. Okay, you learn. Okay, uh, Kong Chong. Who, which, who's that, where, and when is why? It can be a WH question. There's, you see, you look at that word, except for that. Okay, it can be a WH question, except for that. All right, Aiden, good. Okay, right. How to type faster? <laughs> I learned that defining a certain thing is harder than we all think. Mm, right. Okay. Tell me three things you have done well. No, Sri Darshini. Uh, one H W uh, one H and W eight Ws is not the same. That one is question, question form. This one is a relative pronoun. Okay. What have you done well? Three, if you cannot give me three things, even one thing that you have done well in the lesson. Yes, Li Hong, you always go fast. Next time, just for you, I'm going to block you from completing it early. Answer questions. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Mm. Li Hong, you go insane pretty well is because you want to get things uh, understood fast. You don't want to go through the process of taking time to go step by step. That's why you go insane. Okay, pay attention. Okay, right, Tanyi. Yes. Yes, right, Li Hong. All right. Okay, 
So now, oopsie. Right, you have to complete the quiz on relative clauses. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, now listen carefully before you all go crazy because it's going to be an easy one. I'm going to tell you why it's easy. First of all, the question is from your textbook. Is the from the activity um, E, F, and G, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't want to spend time discussing here because, you know, it'll be going very long. So you go and answer. I will give feedback, especially for activity F, where you have to write sentences based on the words given. So just write your sentences using relative pronouns to make it into a relative clause and then make it into a sentence. The answers will be given to you when once you submit, but I will still give you feedback. Okay, and release the score. Usually they allow us to release the score. I will do that. Um, just check. Don't assume that just because you write the sentence and then it will be marked wrong because I already set the answers that you think that um, you didn't do well. Okay, so I'm going to copy paste here one more time for those who might not know. Okay, and just fill in. You have to have a Gmail address to answer. You don't have a Gmail address you cannot answer. The Gmail, anyone can create a Gmail account. Okay, just create to be able to do the quiz. So um, before we go off, I'm going to repeat this for those, many of you, like about 40 of you who just came in. Uh, KPM under the digital learning um, website. Okay, I have also put the link, right? Um, in the description box below this video, I want to let you know that uh, KPM has been um, right also having um, online lesson for all subjects, okay, for PT3. So I and I've also put the link here. Go and subscribe. They are start, They are going to launch it today. I think. I'm not sure. And they're going to start lesson on the 4th of April, which is tomorrow. So there are different classes at 3 to 4, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 3 to 4 in the afternoon from tomorrow until 14. Okay, all different subjects. So go and see at the same time, even though you have, you can, it seems you can ask questions and all that, please go ahead and subscribe and um, join the class because most of you say it's boring, you don't know what to do and you have the luxury of internet, go ahead and do that. They also have, I think, an English class. Go go and learn uh, from that because I think it, um, it might talk about PT3 and so on. My way of teaching is different. I concentrate on strategies on how to um, use language in any way, in any format, no matter where you are, whether for exam, whether for life. That's the way I teach, which is different. Uh, I do not know and I will not comment about other people's way of teaching. This is my way. Okay. So um, our next lesson will be on Monday, 6th of April, 9 to 10 as usual here. Um, we will be doing, um, let me see, mm, speaking. Okay. All right. This is what I decide to do. Okay. We will do speaking lesson, but your speaking that you have to do, again, you have to record yourself and submit through the Google form. I will do a form. Uh, you must make sure that it's in MP3. Please understand the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to practice your speaking and I will check and give feedback to every single one of you who hands who submits. Okay? All right? Yes, Li Hong, see you again. Yeah, it's Monday um, at 9 to 10. So that's what I want to do. Do you like that where you can record and send it to, to, to me? Okay, and then once I give feedback, it will be emailed back to you, right? So that you can know where you go wrong or if you did well, All right? That's what I plan to do for speaking from now instead of just talking on YouTube, okay?
right? I'm going to show you. <laughs> yes, I'm going to show you, right? Monday, 6 April. Hmm? Okay. Zana, all right, that's the reason I want you to do the recording so that I can help you out. Okay, in any way I can. For any any students anywhere in the world, in, in Malaysia, especially like in the world, I won't be helping. All right. Okay, so I see you. Yeah, okay, yes, yes. Uh, Li Hong, you will see me again. Right, so everyone, take care, have fun. Remember, uh, the link is open for a week. Huh? The grammar link is open for a week until April 10. Because I know some of you have a lot of homework from all our teachers. So I'm opening until 10 of April. Uh, uh, Shri Darshini, do you have access to English class? Why buy? No, English classes on Facebook page. You know, I have a Facebook page for English classes, Sri Darshini. I don't know. If you all know that I have a page called English class, right? Um, what is going? Yeah. So you can send me a message there because there have been several uh, students who have contacted me through that Facebook page to find out stuff and all that. Okay. So you can do that. Uh, we can have a discussion through that message messaging system there on that Facebook page, right? Oh, you're not allowed to use Facebook. But how, I'm not going to put my email here and everybody can see, okay? You know what, Sri Darshini, if you answer Google... No, no, it's okay. If you answer the, the uh, Google form, when I submit to you the feedback you will get my Gmail address from there. Okay, then you can talk to me from there. Okay, just do the quiz and then you will get. Uh, Chan Chan, you can, uh, yeah, uh, Chan Chan, the video recording that you have to do will be after the class because I will teach you what you need to do. Then you will do after class and then you will have some days to submit, not immediately, right? Okay, everyone, goodbye. Take care. See you next Monday.